What's happening everybody? This is on Sean with on Beat Entertainment. Today I'm doing a tutorial on Logic Pro X and I'm going to show you how to explode tracks by note pitch. And what I mean by that is um, a lot of people when they're programming their drums like to do it kind of like like to do it the way I do it, which is just to continually take passes through a, a looped region. Like in this case, I've got a five bar loop going. I could just t I was just taking passes through here and just recording a different note every time, a different uh, sound. So I went through and made a, a pass one time and, and dropped all my kicks and then dropped all my snares and then my hi-hats and claps and everything else um, and ended up with this. Now this is just a quick um, beat that I put together in Ultra Beat for this tutorial. Um, Ultra Beat is here and it's just a simple drum machine built in the Logic. So that's what I'm using for this. Um, but here's the little five bar loop that I got. All right. So um, so how do we get all these notes? You can see them here. How do we get all these notes uh, onto their own individual tracks? It's actually pretty easy. All we're going to do is come up here to the region. I'm going to right click it. Then I'm going to come down here to MIDI and right over here to separate by note pitch and bam look at that so now all of a sudden each sound has its own um, has its own track I can process them different I probably want to convert them to audio so I can do some other stuff to them and just so that you understand what exactly is going on if I just undo this um, so when it's exploding by by note pitch if you look here in the bottom editor screen, you can see the uh, the keyboard overlay here, and this this is basically what key I played to get each of these sounds. Like this one, I was hitting this key right here on my keyboard. That's um, off to the side; you can't see it here. So when Logic separates by um, by note pitch, it's just separating them by these MIDI keys is all it's doing. Now another option, um, if I right click and come down here to MIDI. I could have selected separate by MIDI channel. Now I didn't have these all, all on their own MIDI channels, but if you have your drums set up that way, then you could select this option as well and it would separate everything by MIDI channel. Uh, but again, we, we did separate by note pitch and there we have it. So now if you would, please click the thumbs up button for me below. In addition, I'd certainly appreciate your support and all you have to do for that is hit the red subscribe below. That's it. Also, please leave a comment. I do read all of them, whether it be a follow-up question, a different way you do things, something that you just want to add to the conversation, whatever it is, I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on places like Twitter and Instagram. I am at OnSeanBeats, and all my social media links are in the description below, so hopefully I'll see you there as well. As always, thanks for watching.